Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Slip Tier 20 and welcome back to Minecraft. Today's episode we're playing on a horror map called Cheap House. So to give a little brief description of what this map's about, it's located in Australia in 1978 and we had word that there's like a serial killer on the loose in the city that we live in. So we're like, hey, we gotta move out here. So we go find a house and we found one that's only for like $10,000, which is really good in my opinion. But in order to figure out what happens, we got to continue playing into the map. But before we go into that, let's go over the little like rules and whatnot that we have right here. So the main thing is just it's just mainly like setting rules. So like music, ambiance, then if you're playing multiplayer, which we're not. So we don't have to worry about that. But this map was made by the LGSC team. So shout out to Alicia Gloom and Serious Craft. I will put their map in the description below. And if I can find any other things, just like any Twitters or YouTube or that sort of stuff, I'll just link it into the description below as well. Also, special thanks to Guts and Pixels, so shout out to them as well. And this page is just mainly about Optifine, so we don't have to worry about that. Anyway, let's go and start the map. Click to begin. Cheap House. New game. Credits. Discord. Uh, let's go with new game. Ooh, we're going into a dark little corridor thing. Ooh. Hello? So, about that house. Oh, hey, there's a voice acting. Hang on, never mind. Yes, 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 I am still selling that house. Selling it cheap because I really need money now. Oh, by the way, do not forget to take the flashlight with you. There is no Man, no electricity. That's gonna... That kind of sucks, but it is 1978. You don't really need electricity that much during that time. Like, there's not a lot of, like, computer jobs or anything like that during this time, so... Let's see. It looks like we're gonna have to find a glow stick. Okay, um, we got a bottle right here. Look how well made this is. Let's see. Woo! Hey, we can activate the little light switch here. All right, let's see. Is there anything in here? Does not look like it. All right, let's close the door. Let's go through here. You know what? We got to turn off the light, save some power, save some money, that sort of stuff. Ooh, look how big this little, like, apartment complex is. Oh, hey, we can sit right here, watch the TV. Ah, my favorite show. All right, ooh, inspect. These cardboard boxes contain all my things. They are coming with me to a new house after I buy it, of course. Notes. Lately, I use them a lot because of memory problems. Oh man, that's apparently I got amnesia or something like that. Alright, what's in the fridge? Let's see, nothing up here, and ooh, heal med. Huh, and some health. I guess I'll take it. Is it like a splash potion or a drinkable? I'm not sure. Looks like we got some more bottles right here. We need to have a serious A meeting about this. Let's see, where did I leave that glow stick? Did I leave it in here? Ooh, that is a disgusting tub. It looks like I murdered somebody. Am I the murderer? I'm starting to think I am the murderer with the uh, sort of bathtub I have here. Oh, hey, we got some glow sticks. I'm going to take them all just to uh, play safe. All right, well, let's get on out of here. See what's around the corner. LGSC team presents. Ooh, look at this area. Okay, I am near the house. This path should let me to it. Sadly, there is no road for any vehicles, but this house is isolated from the rest of the world, exactly like I wanted. Alright, well, let's see. What's around the corners? Oh, hey, we got a, uh, what looks to be a person up ahead. Look at this squidward looking dude. Oh, let's see. Ah, let's talk to him. So you arrived. Uh, we've been waiting for you for so long and through you changed your mind. Well, glad you did not. And stop looking on me like I am the creepy guy. I really need uh, well, that face, you do kind of look like a creepy guy. I'm not gonna lie. I hope this does not scare you away. How old is that house? This house is older than me, that's for sure. Jesus Christ, how old are you? 257 with the way you look? Where are your arms anyway? You don't even have any arms. So, how do I get inside then? Go around the fence from the right side. From there you can get inside. Yeah, this is like sketchy as hell. Break into my new house? So you'll need to replace them. What a weird guy. Yeah, let's see. Inspect. Yep, close. Gotta find another way inside. He said it was like on the right side over here. Yeah, there we go. Look at that doghouse. Or is this supposed to be a shed? Hang on, this is supposed to be a shed, I think. Kind of looks more like a doghouse, not gonna lie. Let's see, we're close. Gotta find another way inside. Okay, I think he did say go through like the back porch or something like this. Alright, let's open up the house. Oh yeah, that is pretty strange to uh, place a bell there. Ding dong. Close, gotta find another way inside. Okay, that's... Alright, we went the wrong direction. We were supposed to go through the back door. Now I remember that's what he was saying. Ooh, yikes. Looks like he has a uh, close to no problem as well. Maybe he also has amnesia. 
All right, uh, I'm going to kind of hold out the glow stick just so that way I can see what's going on. All right, so this looks to be the dining room area. Oh, we got a little inspect thing right here. Might be for the guns up there. Dummy rifles. Ah, they're not real ones. All right, let's see. Inspect. This should be the entrance to the basement, but it's locked. Maybe there is a key for this. I should definitely check it out before buying this house. Ooh, that might be where all the victims are. Woo! All right, uh, anything we can open up in here? Little armor stand, but looks like some just normal crates. Okay, so this is kind of like a weird living room area type of thing. You know, he said there's no electricity, yet he has like a TV. That's kind of confusing, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Jesus Christ, the TV turned on. Okay, that was a bit weird. It's just turned on and turned off. Am I gonna have the ring lady come through? All right, let's see what's upstairs. All right, let's see what's around here. See nothing over there. Let's see nothing. Oh, maybe something over here? No. Oh, we got something we can inspect. A lot of empty shelves. Why are they here? Great question. Okay, so we got a door right there. And what's over here? Ooh, a little grate. I think this is supposed to be like a little air vent type of thing, but I'm just going to leave that be. All right, let's see what's through this door. Brings us up to the second floor here. Uh, okay, looks like we can go through here. Lots of armor stands. Pretty weird. Oh, hey, now we can open and close this thing. Oh, it's like a little getaway hatch. Okay, we should probably leave that closed then. Let's see, there are some stairs right here. Let's see what's up here. Anything useful? Not from what I can see. I hope I'm going in the right location. Oh, hey, what's this? We got a stone button. Strange heavy button. The word basement is engraved on it. Alright, let's go place the button down. It does seem like it's getting nighttime though, which is uh, not exactly ideal. Alright, oh hey, can we open up the door? No, it does not look like it. But, we can open up the basement here. So, let's see, do we place it on the wall or... Oh, up top. Okay. Okay, looks like we're at the point of no return. There's no, like, switch on the other side here. That's, uh, definitely not ominous at all. Umbra. What is this? It looks like a Wi-Fi logo. Is this my Wi-Fi provider? Hello? I like to talk about my rates. And I get at least one gigabyte down. Oh my god. Oh, I did not like that. Whoa, okay. I do not like that. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I'm hiding. What the hell is that? All I'm hearing is just something going... What in the Finding Nemo? That one scene with like Dory... Oh! What the fuck are you? Oh! 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 No, 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 no! No, no, no! Oh, shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! This is... Okay, that scared the fuck out of me. Run! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh no, no, no! Oh, I'm dead! Oh, I'm so dead! Oh, I'm so dead! Oh! The Jukes! The Jukes! Okay, where are we supposed to go? Where are we supposed to go? I have no clue. Okay, they got me. What the fuck was that? Honestly, have no clue where I'm supposed to go. Okay, let's see where we're gonna respawn. Is it gonna take me back to the beginning? I hope not. Okay, no. It looks like I was supposed to be sort of taken. Okay, I thought I was gonna be able to, like, escape or something like that. But nope, looks like I was supposed to be taken. Looks like I'm in, like, an insane asylum or something like that. Alright, let's see what's on this direction, because that door was locked. Oh, yep, this is where we're supposed to go. You know, kind of not a fan with how this stuff looks, but you know what? I'm going to make sure I'm going to open up these doors, just so that way we can, uh... Oh, hey, there's a chest, hang on. Hole. Okay, I'm going to take that. Oh, oh, okay, it's dark. Never mind, I'll, uh... Hello, and welcome to the Umbra Corporation. Dr. Joseph. My name is Dr. Joseph. I am director of Umbra Corporation, and you, the guy with no luck. We know where you lived. We tracked you down. It was easy. And now you are property of Umbra Corporation. Go to hell. Let Jesus Christ, we're now a property right. of the Let's Umbra slowly. Corporation. Everything is okay. Nobody from your family will get Not gonna lie, this kind of sounds like just something dead. Resident Evil-wise. We will fix that as soon as possible, with my newest invention. Or like, make sure of like, Outlast. Looks like we have to take our time with experiments. Do me a favor and stay here. Fuck you, doctor. Yeah, I'm not gonna stay here. I'm gonna just try to find a way to leave. Can I go back this direction? I didn't check this way. Nope, looks like this is a dead end as well. I hear a lot of weird sounds. Now, I am not a fan of that. 
Okay, so we have technical rooms, and this is just left blank. Can we go through here? Looks like that as well. Let's check this door first, though. It's empty, and I'm not sure what's over here. Okay, looks like it's dead end. Never mind. Let's see. Technical room. Hello there, sir. Piero. Is that how you pronounce it? Oh, hey, we can uh, buy stuff. We can buy a machete, upgrade a glow stick, heal med, and bullets. Cool. You just need to get some documents. Oh, hey, we got ourselves a rifle. Oh my god, look at this rifle. I have no clue how we're supposed to use this, but okay. Oh, hey, we got some ammo. That's probably how. Okay, well, I'm arm and loaded. I'm a true American right now. Them demons gonna taste my freedom. Oh, hey, we got another little great thing right here. Let's go through here. Ooh, a little switch. That's definitely not gonna do anything bad. Oh, it just opens up this uh, little hallway thing right here. Let's see, it looks like we can go down there, which might be the best spot to go, so I guess let's go see. Oh, I guess we're in the nether with the way that looks, because it just said hot tourist. Yep, I guess we're in the nether, huh? Okay, we are going to have to be very careful. This is a sewer system thing, with the way this looks at least. And a lot of bad stuff usually happens down here. Alright, anything around these corners? Gotta, gotta always check my corners. I'm just scared, I'm not gonna lie. Anything we can loot in here? Does not look like it. Um, no. Okay, well, let's go down this eerie little hallway thing. Or stairwell. Let's see, we can go through here, which looks like where we're supposed to go, or we can go through over here. Looks like a lot of, oh, never mind. We got a strong insta heal med. Never mind, let's take that. Alright, let's see what's through here. Let's see what the uh, psychological horrors they're gonna throw at me. Hello, anybody around here? I'm trying to look for a nice little exit so that way I can just have my $10,000 house. Although I'm starting to think I'm not gonna be able to get the house now. Oh, I guess this was supposed to scare me. I, did, I jumped up and I saw this right there, so I guess I was supposed to close the door and that's supposed to scare me or something. I'm not sure. Alright, this is a bit weird. I have no clue where I'm kind of going or where I'm at. Let's see, we can go left or right. Left or right. Let's go right, because right is always right. I've seen that it's like shits and giggles, like plot twists, where we're going to get jump scared and something's going to come out. See a hole behind. Oh, okay. I guess this is where we're supposed to go. Uh, my glow stick is going in and out. Okay, that is not good. Oh, that's human skulls. Oh! God damn, that fucking scared me. I don't want to play this map anymore. Ooh, control switch room can be placed on chiseled nether bricks. There's something behind that door. Oh. No, 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 no. I am not going out there. I am not going out there. I just hear breathing. That's all I hear. And that is terrifying. Is it down through here? Nah, nah, nah. I'm white, but I ain't that white. I'm going away from that. Okay. Let's try to get out here. I'm just gonna... Close the doors. I got a control room switch. It said it can be placed on chiseled nether bricks, which I don't know where I would need to go for that, and but... Who the fuck are you? Chill. Oh, shit. I am a friend. My name is Piero, and I can help I love you the fucking text-to-speech with you this. You only need to listen to me. See this chest? Grab the rifle from it. It's really useful for you. Then, find the prison control room. We will meet there again why should i trust you how do i escape from this fucking so it looks like i was supposed to talk to this guy because first no but um unless you want to yeah i kind of messed that up or die listen i really want to help you by the way i can give you some ammunition but not for free bring me some documents so we can trade what are these documents where i can find them and why do you need them these documents are expensive outside of the umbra corporation in exchange for them, I'll get you some useful equipment. If I knew where they were, I wouldn't ask you to find them. I think yeah, I already, already know the about the complex. documents that I'm supposed to find, but... Kind of looks like we're supposed to go through where I kind of came from over there. The control room. We're walking through. I'm just gonna quickly check the slow rooms area. See if we're missing anything. God, this is scary. This is terrifying. Oh, we got some documents. Yes. Okay, let's, uh, it says present gate. Do we, can we place it around here or no? Oh, oh shit. 
Okay, so it looks like one of these guys is here. Okay, wow, we're gonna need to 100% just... Oh, that went straight through him. No, 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 no. Oh, that's bullshit. Fight back, fight back, fight back. Oh crap, he's trapping me, he's trapping me. God, I'm gonna need a machete. Alright, let's talk to this guy again. Um, can you please give us some bullets? Thank you very much. Gonna reload my gun just to make sure we're good to go. And we should probably drink another strong heal med. Alright, um, that's not supposed to happen, I'm assuming. Alright, buddy, get out of here. Man, we are kind of not doing so well. Alright, let's look around, see if we can find this control room thing. I'm assuming the control room is going to be kind of left. Oh, no, we're not. We're not dealing with that. No. Shit, we're going to have to go around him. Okay, he's actually chasing me now because I messed up. I think we're going to die here. Not unless I get that machete because we really need that. Because I don't think I'm going to really mess around with just trying to use uh, use the rifle anymore. Seems to be just a crossbow, but retextured. Alright, let's go down through here and unlock the door. Ah, it just loops us around. Okay, where are we supposed to go? Because this just says control room switch. Are we supposed to bring it back here? Because this just says living rooms, which I'm assuming is not where we need to be. Is there anything around here that we can place it on? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's make sure we're not messing anything. I'm just gonna go around and see what's around here and not. Let's go back down the original stairs we took, like when we went to the right, see if there's something down there that we missed. Yeah, because this just kind of brings us back to the other side here. Oh, wait. Nope, this is definitely where we're supposed to be. Alright, time to get jump scared and chased by 20 things. Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, it's Piero. I'm glad that you made it there alive. Did you bring some documents? Oh, hey, we I saved our progress. Let's go. For you. By the way. By opening these doors, Ooh, you look the at surface. this. We got a new equipment. The head the camera. Sewers. Night vision Find mode. I will help. That'd be kind of useful. Alright, let's go through. See if we can uh, try not to die. I'm going to try to save up for the uh, lovely little machete first. Ah, gate control. Let's, uh... Oh, actually fired my uh, gun. The gate control. There we go. Let's go. Alright, central prison gate should be open. Now I can get to the sewers and escape. Why do I feel like it's not going to be quite as easy as that? That's because it does not sound like it. Oh, God. Oh, hey, I just got myself. Let's go. Alright, let's make our way down to the little, little control panel. We are being chased. We got a little guy right there. How you doing? Man, this would be so much easier if we had a machete. Die. Okay, when I say die, I don't mean me die. I mean you die. Oh, well, I'm just gonna kind of jump off from here. All right, I feel like this is gonna lead to more deaths around the corner. Looks familiar. Yeah, because that seems like your bathtub. I think you're a murderer, man. Ooh, diary. Excuse me, whoever's out there, can I please read this diary in peace? We are conducting an experiment that will allow us to resurrect the dead. The first attempt did not result in anything good. We stitched up the burnt body, inserted prosthetics and hearing sensors, injected X substance, and blasted electricity to the dead brain, and it came to life. But the memory cannot be returned. However, because of the prosthetics, the first experiment became invulnerable to small caliber firearms and bladed weapons. Ooh, that's, uh, that's not good. You can call this some kind of success, but not in this case, because our goal is not only to revive the body, but also to restore the memory, which is the main task. The next series of experiments is more successful, but is far from the minimum we need. With the advent of a new revitalizing substance, the victim's brain begins to work fully for a while, thereby restoring memory. However, after some time, the brain dies again, and we have not found a solution to this problem. Well, it sounded like to me you should have stopped while you were ahead. Okay, hey, I found uh, one of the guys. We're gonna have to be very careful here. Can you get in? Are you just stuck out there? Oh boy, dark little alleyway with more skulls and spikes. Let's go. Oh, hello again. Patience. Oh, hello there. Looks like you really want to leave. I do understand that for sure, but ah, yes, third document. All right, let's go back to Piero. So, die. Shoo, sure. die. Ooh. Threatening us. Dude telling me I'm part of his science project and tells me to die. Who does he think he is? God, that thing keeps on scaring me every single time. Hello, Piero. Give me that machete, please. Swing, 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 swing. I just realized we can have the uh, glow stick in our offhand. This is going to make things a whole lot easier. 
Alright, let's see what's around here. Is there anything up ahead that I did not see? Because this was blocked off originally, but now it looks like it's open. Alright, I'm gonna kind of just walk slowly through this, because I feel like they're gonna throw something at me. Either somebody or something. One of the two. Let's see, any of these crates hold anything useful? Does not look like it. Oh, motherfucker. Uh, my glow stick isn't working. Hello? Okay, uh, does not look like we go this direction. Let's go the opposite direction. Oh boy, I know they're gonna throw somebody at me. Oh boy, this isn't... This isn't ominous at all. Oh! Hello, Piero. Hello. Look, you have to go through that stinking sewer. Yeah, I know I have to go through the sewer. I'll meet you there. By the way, I've updated... Oh, yeah, you updated. Or, wait, you're not Piero, you're Joseph. Oh boy, we have, uh, things that make sound. I am, uh... I am ecstatic about this. Alright, well, no time like the presents. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, oh, motherfucker. Oh, 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 you back off. 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 I want that thing. Aw. Oh, I was about to say I want that thing that's inside the, uh, crate over there. All right, let's see if we can be able to grab that. Hopefully not have this guy chase me down like a wild dog. Oh, there you are. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, he is right behind me. He is right behind me. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. We're so dead. We're so dead. I'm grabbing the documents first. Haha, I got my papers. Oh, I do have to realize we can use this to our advantage with the, uh, little grates here. I'm not gonna lie, a little nervous about running through here. I'm just afraid I'm gonna walk right into him again. Oh, he's nearby. Oh, shit, I fucked up. Oh, no, 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 no. No! Ah, oh, I was so close. Alright, um, let's see. Let's go with a radar. Why not? See what that would do for us. Yeah, this just kind of just points in a weird location, it looks like. I don't know. Alright, let's see. Can we finally get through this without dying? Because I think this is the direction we need to go to. Alright, we seem to be in a new area, I think, with the way this looks. Oh boy, we're in a shower area. That's peachy. Just great. Just what I wanted. Alright, let's see. Where are you going to summon the uh, next guys at? Or the next hole that will fall through? Let's see, this is present chambers. Oh, hey, this is where we came from. Okay. Let's try to do a save spot. I'm going to go back to Piero, back over here at the uh, original save spot, and then we'll continue forward. All right, let's go back through the, uh, well, original areas we were supposed to go through. All right, so I see there's a light switch right here. There is obviously something that looks like it's going to fall down from up top here. So let's just bite the bullet. Okay, never mind, maybe. I'm not trusting it. Okay, we got another light switch. Okay, this time something's gonna fall. This time something's gonna fall. Oh, no, never mind, because it was just another light switch. That's weird. I don't like that. Is this time we're gonna have something fall? What did they do to deserve this? Oh my god, is that supposed to be blood? Ooh, diary. Oh, this is original. Hang on. Uh, after he dismembered the bodies in the bathroom, he took the remains to the chest... It seems that he is truly believing that he is helping his dead mother through this sacrificial ritual. Ooh. His victims were only children. Oh my god, that is messed up. This dangerous serial killer constantly changes his place of residence and it is very difficult for us to find him. But we came up with something. Okay, hopefully they catch this guy before I die. Oh boy, this is flickering. Let's see, office complex. Ooh, another diary. Workers complain that the heat from the boiler room, which is supplied through the ventilation, makes the offices unbearably hot. I think we need to lower the fuel level. Okay, so like what? Freeze them? What's over here? Oh boy, this is just where I need to be. Ooh, is this documents? Yes, it is. Alright, I'm going behind here. I know this is stupid, but I'm doing it. Okay, what creature will appear from the side here? Oh, a little ice cube box thing. Child cutting saw. A saw that was used to dismember victim. Oh. 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 I'll take it because it's a weapon, but oh, that's fucked up. Oh, that's fucked up. Oh, it's an axe. That's what this is. Oh, that is so messed up. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to like go back through this map without the texture pack on and just see how it looks. Oh, looks like we need a key for the boiler room. Let's see. Can we find a key anywhere nearby? Probably say down here, maybe. Oh, hey. Hello, Piero. Glad you're here. Look, 
I know the only way out of there is through the office building, so you'll have to go there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you hey, you got me a pistol. In exchange for the documents. I'm tired of all this. It feels like you are driving me in circles. What the fuck is going on? Who really are you? Fine. I will tell who I am, but only if you will reach the offices. You helping me, and I'm helping you. Isn't this as hard to understand? Look, pal. Yeah, Pietro seems a bit sketchy. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so we will meet in the offices. See ya. Alright, looks like we're meeting in the offices. I mean, we need a key first for that, but... Or no, we need a key for the boiler room. Never mind. So what, is the offices gonna be open? No. Okay, so where do we go? Alright, I'm gonna kind of go back a little bit from where we came from, see if I miss anything. I don't think so, but... Yeah, no, this is just a showers area. And then this one's just a flickering light bulb. Is there anything behind these walls? No. And then I didn't see anything around here. Let's go back through here. I just have no clue what I could be uh what I could be missing. Okay, so I totally did not look up a uh guide of somebody else doing it. Apparently it's right here. I don't know why it was right here this one third time, but apparently this was right in this little shulker box or I guess blood box thing. Oh, hello, Mr. Uh, zombie Dude. I'm gonna be honest, this took way too much longer. Holy Christ. Ooh, we gotta be careful. These guys, they are everywhere. Okay, is that it or is there one more? I think that should be it, hopefully. All right, let's place the switch. Or, hang on. This does say to the boiling... Yep, boiling room. Okay, where am I supposed to place it? Because it's supposed to go right here, right? Oh, it says boiling blood. It can be placed on red wool. Okay, where would some red wool be at? Because it's not these things. Let's see, does it have to pertain to anything that we saw beforehand? Um, oh, hey, boy, I'm luck. And that's a, uh, well, that's a red wool. Alright, what's in here? We got another diary and some more documentations. Let's go. It looks like he hid the remains of the victims inside this chest. We found out that this chest belonged to his mother who died of breast cancer exactly 15 years after he was born. Doctor said that the cancer started after his birth. Wow, that's... Whew, that's rough. Have you killed? And then, what's this? Oh, I guess that messes with the little, little pressure plates here. We just kind of, like, overload the system here. Just throw coal. Okay, we're gonna have to figure out which each pressure plate does. So that one closes that one. That one doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, hey, there's a little inspect thing. I think I can drop any item here to activate the pressure plate. Well, no duh. That's not it. Do I activate this one? Okay, let's try this. The book does say that his mother died 15 years ago. Or 15 years after he was born. So let's try one. Five. Nope, does not look like it did anything. Oh, hey, there we go. I just started throwing things randomly. Alright, that is a bit creepy, but okay. I'm just gonna take the boiler room key. Um, please don't summon anything. Kind of sounds like you're summoning something. I'm gonna take back my coal. Alright, well, let's head back over. Okay, there's some people here. Ooh. Oh, there's a guy right here. Kacha! Kapow! Alright, let's go open up the boiler room. Alright, what are we doing here? I'm gonna assume we go down with the way this looks. Yeah, this isn't sketchy whatsoever. Huh, this is a familiar lava texture pack. I guess I'm assuming that's lava. Alright, let's go up through here. Ooh, this is spoopy. Oh, motherfucker. God damn it. I knew that should have happened. You know, some of these jump scares were like, it should have been obvious to see that. And some of it's like, yeah, that's a bit clever. Um, Piero, you here? You said to meet up in here. Piero. Ooh, instamed. Alright, well, this is a locked room over here. Ooh, I need to place something here. Okay, I'm wondering what that is. Let's offer a hot dog. Unless the person's a vegan, then we'll offer a veggie dog. Ah, more TVs. Just splendid. Please, stay tuned. Let's see, Casket of David. Who on earth is David? Oh, creep, that scared hey, me, not gonna lie. Still trying to escape, I see. I wish you luck with that. But someone is really don't want to let you to escape. Oh no. Who the fuck are you? Are you David? Oh. Okay, uh, he transformed. What do I do now? Do I just keep on attacking? Oh, okay. Well, that was pretty easy. I'm not gonna lie, that was a bit easier than I thought it was gonna be. Alright, this upbeat tempo is going a bit way too long in my opinion now. 
I can barely hear myself think. I had to turn on the volume for myself. Ooh, another diary. By Robin. Experiment David is the son of Dr. Joseph. Ooh, okay, that, uh, that makes sense. When murder killed him and burned him, Joseph tried to resurrect him with a secret substance. Nothing good came out of this. However, with the help of prosthetics, he became almost invulnerable. Why almost? Because they can only be disabled through Casket of David, making the first experiment an ordinary mortal. By the way, through this door, I'm going to let an experiment end to catch the psycho, after which he will be taken to the prison department for further experiments on him. I need to have time to meet him and then run to here and activate this trap. To open this door, you will need to break the red lamps. Dr. Joseph has the necessary tools he's been hanging out in the experiment chamber. Alright, well, looks like we need to go to experiment chamber, which you don't have to tell me twice. That's why I have this switch. I'm assuming it's whatever this thing is, so boop! Well, well, well. well that was a slow well, well, well. A little murder. Killed one of my best patients. Want to escape? Then you have to deal with more of my patients. I gotta deal with more of you guys? Aw, oh, man. I will kill you, you son of a bitch. Oh, jeez. Hello, guys. Uh, why don't we just put the, uh, put the murderer away and just leave us be, you know? I don't hurt you, you don't hurt me. Oh, I guess it's a bit too late to say that now. I already just killed him. Oh, hello, guy. Oh, shit. That's Dr. Joseph. Oh. Well, he was better easy to take care of. Automatic bolt cutter. When in main hand, it does 7 attack speed. Nice. This is just where he's been watching me this whole entire time, I see. Their diary, let's go. This one's by Dr. Joseph himself. September 14, 1977. The police have been looking for my son for two weeks now. He is lost in the park. And this news about a serial killer, I pray that there are no coincidence. September 16th, 1977. My hands are shaking. I can't work anymore. I'll have to abandon my laboratory for a while and take anti-stress pills. Coincidence happened. This morning, the police called me and say that my son was brutally killed and burned. September 17th, 1977. I took the remains of my son and tried to revive him with the help of a secret substance. The dead, burnt body greatly increased in size and came to life. But alas, the brain cannot be saved. I will take revenge. June 5th, 1978. I hired the best CIA agent to find the killer. His plan is this. Lure the killer to a new house and from there stun him and hand him over to me for experiments. I want him to suffer. June 11, 1978. Agent Robin successfully caught this freak. We locked him inside the prison section, room 22. Tomorrow I'll conduct my experiment on him and make him die in agony for a whole year. Okay, so now this is pretty much confirmation that we are the uh, murderer. June 12, 1978. There's some kind of mechanical failure. This freak escaped and someone also recalled all my personnel. Why would anyone help this psycho? Yeah, I don't know. I guess I am a little crazy. Alright, well, um, I guess let's get out of here. I think that's the only thing left to do, at least. We go through here? No? Or I guess we would go through here, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Let's open up the door. Oh, hello, Piero. What do you have to say? Look, it's time to tell you who I really am. I am an agent who works for the secret corporation called Korot. Korot? <laughs> that's I funny. I give you a chance to get out of there despite everything you have done. But in return, you will work for the Krot Corporation without the possibility of refusal. If you agree, then go upstairs. If not, then stay here. Alright, looks like I'm going to be working for the Krot Corporation. What if I just kill you instead? Ah, oh, I can't do that. Oh, hey, we're back in the basement. This is where we originally were. Oh, did we just hang ourselves? I hope I didn't just hang myself. Oh, I did not like this ambient noises. <laughs> you died. That's just all it says after like a good few seconds of ambient noises. Well, I feel like that was like the worst ending we could have gotten. Thanks for playing. Map by LGSC Team. Again, I will put them in the description below. So it looks like this is like a movie theater type of thing, which is pretty nice. I like the uh, stylization of this. Let's see, is there anything we can interact? There's a book right here. I guess let's read it. Thanks for playing Cheap House. Map by LGSC Team, Leisha Gloom, and Sirius Crass. So again, thank you to these two guys. I will put them in the description below for any types of links I can find. And let's see, is there anything else around here? I don't think so with the way this looks. Yeah, these are just closed doors. All right, well, I gotta say, I had fun with this map. I had some spooks. I had some uh, funny moments. And overall, I thought this was a pretty good map. Pretty solid. 
It's kind of interesting to think how far, like, horror maps came since then, because I remember watching this sort of stuff back in, like, before 2015 time type of thing, and it wasn't to this level that it is now. But, yeah, so if you guys did like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and again, shout out to the map creators. Again, they will be linked in the description below, and without further ado, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.